George Campbell. Um, I'm a GP governing body member with the Hamilton, Richmond and Whitby Clinical Commissioning Group. Um, and actually, I'm a GP who lives in Whitby. Um, since the CCG came uh, into being, uh, we have been looking at the way we develop community care um, with the object of keeping people at home for longer uh, and uh, improving the quality of people's life at, in their homes. The reprovision of Whitby Hospital is just one portion of our plans to redevelop community care in Whitby. So the hospital uh, reprovision will provide modern, up-to-date uh, inpatient facilities, but also diagnostic facilities, um, a base for support staff to, um, uh, to, to be, uh, uh, as well as um, developing um, services like remote consulting and continuing with outpatient facilities. But behind it also is the concept want to keep people at home for longer. And so it's the whole concept about trying to support people at home. Um, but if they do need to come into the hospital, get them sorted out as quickly as we can. Because one of the concerning statistics for elderly patients who are admitted to hospital is that every 10 days they lose 10% of their muscle mass. So all in all, our, our ambition is to improve the way we look after the care of people in the community in Whitby and Whitby Hospital Redevelopment is just one portion of that uh, total plan. So my name is Peter Todd, I work for NHS Property Services. NHS Property Services are helping the CCG uh, deliver the scheme that we're looking at today. So my role involves assembling the design team to look at what the clinical requirements on the site are, to s specify the space that's needed to deliver against those clinical requirements in the refurbished facility. Following that, we then appoint what's called design and build contractor, so a contractor is ultimately going to build the building and then work up the business cases that are required to support um, the final approval of the scheme and then delivering out the build process. My name is Louise Drew, I'm an architect at Medical Architecture. We are um, looking at the design of the redevelopment of Whitby Hospital. At the moment we are at our public engagement here today to talk to the staff and the public about the proposals for the hospital. Um, at the moment the plans have gone into the planning department and we're waiting on the consultation back there. Um, and going forward we just want to get some opinions on the appearance and the layout of the hospital to take it forward into the next stage. Hi, I'm Matthew Hill, Senior Design Manager for BAM Construction. We're the construction partner working with the rest of the team here to develop the Whitby Hospital Scheme into a, a working project that will be a great facility for Whitby. My name is Dale Owens, I'm Assistant Director for Care and Support for North Yorkshire County Council. Our involvement in this project has been around developing extra care on the site and we have a, a main interest in being able to deliver appropriate accommodation for older people and this is a prime site in Whitby for us to be involved in this that is also linking in with our CCG colleagues to make sure that we can meet the needs of people in the local community and prevent people from needing long-term support by living and creating uh, home environments that meet the needs of people uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we're looking at securing part of the existing site to develop extra care with our framework of providers. Um, that will enable us to develop a number of apartments in Whitby in a really nice setting uh, and a really nice homely setting and also have 24-7 care and support that wraps around all of that accommodation. Um, we're really excited about the site and we're just waiting to, to agree the final terms in terms of the, the land release and we look to be developing within the very near future. Hello, my name's Helen Camish, I'm the Assistant Care Group Director for Community Services within Humber Teaching NHS Foundation Trust. Humber NHS Foundation Trust has been privileged to be delivering community services here in Whitby for the last couple of years. The staff have been engaged through different sessions looking at the room's layout, the equipment we may need in taking this forward. We've been able to work with the CCG and property services from the very beginning to really understand what is it that we would like from the hospital, how we can get the ward, our community clinics, um, the minor injury units to really work together and flow to allow us to deliver safe and high quality services here at Whitby. My name's Doff Pollard, I'm a Whitby resident and I've become involved in the Whitby, Hamilton and Richmond CCG as the Health Engagement Network representative. I'm very interested in the Whitby Hospital being redeveloped and trying to ensure that 
the greatest number of local people are able to get engaged and talk about what they need. That's not just only for Whitby, it's for Whitby and the surrounding areas and the doctor's surgery around about. So the job isn't just about the hospital, it's also about ensuring that the new opportunities, the changes in regulation are communicated to the public and they have an opportunity to actually hear what's going on, particularly around medication. But I am willing to listen to what people have to say and I do take questions back from the members of the public, I take them to the CCG and the CCG are able to give me replies that I feed back to people. My name is Abigail Barron, I'm Assistant Director of Integrated Commissioning for Hambleton, Richmondshire and Whitby CCG. This is a fantastic opportunity for us to work collectively with the design team, the architects, the construction team and the owners of the hospital, NHS Property Services, to ensure that we create a healthcare facility for our local residents, which is not only fit for healthcare provision now, but also fit for the future.